And Catholics around the world are learning more about their new pope. Lacey Chris watched the announcement at Catholic Memorial High School. Lacey? Well, students here were pretty young when Pope Benedict was installed, so they're excited to have a new leader. They tell me they hope he can modernize the church. But it's really exciting now that um, we can actually understand what's going on. Definitely be the first thing that we talk about at the dinner table tonight. Students at Catholic Memorial High School waited and watched to see who the new leader of the Catholic Church would be and what direction the new Pope will take the church. I think for the entire church it's going to be a period of growth because a new Holy Father means new insight on the church, new insight on teachings, and it definitely will help bring the whole church together. While students are disappointed it wasn't a familiar face who walked out onto the balcony, they're happy to see it was a priest from South America. From where he's from, hopefully it re-energizes the Catholics from that area and all Catholics in general. I really hope that the new Pope is able to find ways to modernize the faith so that it appeals to more young people. Father Paul Hartman argues this election sends a message to Catholics everywhere. What they saw is his skills matched up with the, the world's needs right now and we have to trust that the Holy Spirit kind of pushed him to that decision. Students and Father Hartman hope the new Pope will make a U.S. visit as soon as possible. I would assume that at some point we'll see him. Every Pope now in modern era wants to do some pilgrimages, some apostolic travels. And Father Hartman tells me he and Catholics around the world will be studying in the next few days to learn more about the new leader. On your side live in Waukesha, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. All right, Lacey, thanks.